Libra, Libra, Libra. Hello, my loves. Finally, it took us forever to get here, Libras. So if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Libras, what do we have going on? Libras, I feel like some of you definitely have some travel that's going to be coming in. Now, I know things are opening back up, and I know that a lot of people are going to be moving around. But I feel like that for some of you, um, you could be even making decisions to move. This could be moving to a different city, to a different state. And the only reason I feel like that, I think there is either an opportunity that's coming in or some of you are coming to the end of a line with a an environment or a situation. It's like, okay, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready to leave. Maybe because there's better things on the horizon for you. So I will say, Buddha, seriously, in the middle of the Libra's reading, hold up, you guys, let me put them out. All right, sorry, you guys. Well, I feel like some of you definitely are coming to terms with things ending, whether this is a job, a friendship, a relationship. There's this thing of it didn't work out, so now I have to move on. That could be for a few, and then some, I feel like there's a really big money opportunity that's coming in, but it may require you to pack up and move somewhere else. Some of you may have some anxiety about either way, but I do feel like you're going to be moving to a new house or a new environment. Um, for a few of you, there's definitely some type of truth that comes out. And we've been seeing this for a long time. And I'm always looking like, what the fuck skeletons do I have that I need to get ahead of? I don't even know at this point. If it comes out, I'm just going to have to say, you know what? I completely forgot about that fuck up. But for some of you, you may already know what it is. But I feel like something coming out to the front. So this could be causing endings for a few. Whether this is something that you did in a job situation, whether you did within a family situation, whether you did in a relationship. I feel like something is going to be coming to the light and it's going to bring an ending to what the way things are. Um, so if you know that you're out there doing some shady stuff, you need to start covering yourself up a whole lot better or you might be prepared for an ending. Some of you, I feel like people already know what you're doing. They may just be kind of playing along with you because they're trying to get themselves together before they make a move. But I feel for some of you, the secret or whatever it is has already come out and the person is just kind of dealing with it until... Now, it's a general read. For some of you, this could be you. You could be dealing with somebody where it's like, okay, uh, I just found out so-and-so did this and did that, and I didn't know. So some of you may be finding out something about somebody else, and you're like, you know what? Can't fuck with you no more. Can't do that no more. Mm, no, we can't be friends, or we can't be lovers, or we can't work together. So be prepared that something could be coming out. Some of you, it may even lead to a legal situation. So maybe this was something illegal, this could have been something with property. Um, if this is a marriage or a breakup, this could be going through a divorce, splitting some type of property. Um, for a few of you, it may even end up in child custody where this person is like, look, you know, we, I'm taking my kids and I'm going. So I do feel like that some of you may end up catching um, this energy. You may know it's coming. Um, and if you do, I mean, prepare for it as best as you can. If not, if you're a cross watcher and you're looking at this, you know, somebody might be like, look, I'm packing up and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. So Libras, be prepared for that. It, I, I feel like um, changes are going to come whether you're ready for them or not, I should say. Now, for some of you, you may be ending something and you're like, you know what? Now's the time. If you've been putting this big move off, if you've been putting this big decision off for a job, it may actually make it easier for you to move forward. Some of you, I feel like there's going to be some judgment that comes in, and it could be about addiction. This could be drug addiction, alcohol addiction, sex addiction. And I just saw this with, um, what did I do before you? Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign person towards Capricorn Virgo, because I think I just did Virgo. So there could be some arguments about addiction. You know, you're doing this too much, or this could be you telling them, you're doing this too much. I don't like this. But I do feel like that there could be some issues with addiction that cause problems in a relationship or a connection. There definitely is some judgment that's going to be coming your way. So some of you could be like somebody who's looking at you and going, I don't understand why. Why are you doing this? Why are you making these mistakes? Or why did you turn the paperwork in when it wasn't ready? Or why did you do the project like this? 
or somebody could just literally be in your face like, why? Why? Talk to me. Why? I do get something with miscommunication going in. Um, sometimes with Libras, um, we can def we can deflect really, really well. You know, you come in there, da -da 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 -da. oh, did you see that tornado over there in the corner? That looked like a tornado, right? That, I think that's, tor did you see that? And they'd be like, yeah, yeah. And then they were like, well, you know, let me go check the weather. All right. <laughs> Argument diverted. Because some of us are masters at manipulation. So you could be doing this with miscommunication. Somebody could be calling you out and you're like, okay, look, yeah, did you see Superman? Superman flew through. Did you see? I saw his cape. Did you see his cape? And the person is like, yeah. Some of you, you're going to come to the end of the line with that. So be really careful. This person may be on to us. They may be like, okay, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to deflect and divert, but I'm on to you. So there could be something with communication that you have to kind of sit down and go through this month. Libras, Libras, Libras. I definitely feel like there is something coming in with travel and making money. Some of you could be truck drivers, Uber drivers, Lyfts. You could be on the road. Whatever it is, you could be a flight attendant, a pilot. But I'm definitely getting something with travel that is going to be coming in. And it looks like that it builds up, which means that for a few of you, this could be how you make your money. There may be some promotions or bonuses that come with it. I, I feel like a few are going to be getting new cars or new vehicles. Um, there's celebrations about it. Um, if you've been sharing a car with someone, I feel like that you're going to finally purchase your own. If you've been riding the bus or riding bikes, I feel like that this year you're going to figure out a way to purchase your vehicle. Congratulations. Libra, 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 Libra. Um, I'm definitely feeling like there's some issues with mediation or court case or getting um, somebody to mediate a conversation. There could be issues. We're out of Mercury, so I don't understand why we're getting a lot of communication cards that keep popping out. But I feel like some of you are going to be dealing with miscommunication. Something being said that wasn't said the right way or wasn't heard the right way or wasn't taken the right way. So I will say, when in doubt, if you're communicating with other people and you think you hear something, just go back. You know, I could be wrong, but I thought you said this. I just want to be clear because it may not be what you think you heard and vice versa. This could be somebody doing this to you. And, you know, when you said we were breaking up and you never wanted to be with me and you're like, well, I didn't say that. I said something, but it wasn't to that line or to that to that point. Um, I definitely feel like there is something that's going to be going on with teaching um, or education. There may be some conflict at first. So if you are teaching classes and things like that, be prepared to be a little bit flexible. If you're taking classes, be prepared to be a little bit flexible because I do feel like there's some back and forth that may come in with some little obstacles that need to be worked out. If you are creating any type of groups or classes, be mindful of the people that you're putting together because I'm getting drama and miscommunication. So if this is a work group and you're working on a project, be mindful of the people that you're working with. If you get a chance to, to handpick these people, take your time because it looks like some of you could be bringing in people into your life that aren't necessarily good for your life. Um, there could be some drama, some gossip, or some conflict that comes in with that. I do see a lot of side hustles coming in um, this year for a lot of us. Um, this could be starting multiple businesses or these could be different branches. Or you might just try, you may be just being very creative with how you make your money. For some of you, I feel like creativity is going to come out. So say you've never sculpted anything before and you did it and it turned out amazing and people are like, I want to buy it. Now all of a sudden you're doing 15, 20. Um, you know, you could be a decorator, you could be an artist, you can be a, a musician. But I feel like that you may be doing something this month that people are like, oh, you, I didn't know you did that. I didn't know you had that talent. And before you know it, it's like, okay, well, let me put me down for three or, or give me tickets for this. So be prepared that there may be some things that come out of your networking with people or putting yourself out there. I will say I'm getting some conflict and gossip, which is not completely, uh, it should be in every goddamn air sign reading, especially Libras, because we tend to be in it. 
more. Um, and maybe because we know Z and we always trying to be in somebody else's lane or whatever. I don't know. I'm trying to stay here. But I feel like some of you may be dealing with some type of drama or gossip. Choose your battles wisely this month. Spirit is saying that some of the things that you're putting yourself in this month, you don't need to be in. You don't need to make a, say anything. You don't need to have an opinion about it. You could have some people that are trying to drag you into something that you're not supposed to be in. So it's one of those things where it's like, you know what, whenever it comes to my door, I'm like, you know what, I'm sorry you're going through it. I'm going to pray for you. I'll light a candle and that's it. I, I have no opinion either way. So some of you be careful that you are not being um, used to um, keep drama going. Libra, 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 Libra. I do feel like there, there's a new house or a move that is coming in. If you've been trying to move, for some of you, it may not be your choice. I'm getting something with either eviction, and this can kind of go back to either a breakup or a divorce or walking away from someone, and you can no longer stay where you're at. I feel a little bit of depression and somebody feeling like um, they've been left out in the cold or stabbed in the back. So this could be you or this could be a roommate or partner, somebody that you're dealing with. Okay, let's get into the cards, Libra. They keep popping out all over the place. What does spirit have to tell you? Libra, Libra, Libra. All right, let me get into it. We got the King of Blades represented first, air sign person. Two of Blades, oh, two of Blades having to make a decision. Don't want to see the problem. Four of Wands. God damn it. Like I said, some of y'all are going to have to find a different place to live. And it may be something with a legal situation. Um, it could be connected with an uh, earth sign person towards Capricorn and Virgo. Because I felt like somebody was going to be taking somebody to court over a settlement. And I was thinking about talking about a boyfriend, a girlfriend, or somebody, roommates that put in money together for a house. And then they break up. And then it's like, who does it belong to? So some of you could be going through this where you have to kind of divide, you know, I put money in for this or I paid for this. And the person is like, you know, no, some of you are going to be taking this person to court or this person may be deciding to take you to court. Now we got the page of coins. Looks like somebody trying to get a side hustle up so they can move into a different place or move forward. We got the nine of cups. Some of you could be getting a little money or settlement from a legal situation. Um, we got the five of blades, definitely some conflict that's going to be coming in. Four of cups, few you could be trying to get somebody's attention, but they're shut off or closed off to you. And it could be because of something they discovered. Remember at the intro, I said, some of you have something that's coming in and look how this person is ignoring. Let me love you. Let me talk to you. Let me make it right. I'm sorry. You know, let's start over. And the person has their headphones and their eyes down. I don't want to talk to you. I found out something, I saw something, and now I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to deal with you anymore. This could be you doing this to someone or someone doing this to you, and there's conflict behind it. We got, let's see, the two of coins, juggling. We have the higher font. This could be a teacher, a magical person, male or female. We got the ace of wands, new beginnings. Six of, six of blades, leaving baggage behind, starting over. Queen of swords. Let's see. Oh, cheating. Somebody got busted. Three of blades, emotional hurt. The strength card. And I will go on. I couldn't help it, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's a Titanic song. Somebody's like, look, it, yeah, it didn't work out, but I, I'm going to keep it moving. The judgment card, you may have some people that are gossiping about some, de some decisions that you're making in your life. Some of you are leaving something behind, and it's emotional pain to it. It really is. We got the three of swords. A lot of times this is emotional hurt. I, normally with three of swords, if you've ever had a really bad breakup where your heart literally just hurts, like there's a pain because people can die from broken heart syndrome, but it's like your heart physically hurts. Some of you may be going through this issue right now with someone, whether this is a relationship, you know, family member, your child, and there is this energy of... I got to take this off. I got to take this this burden off, this, this thing off, and I got to move forward. The strength card, 
is showing that a lot of you may have gone through something really, really bad. Now, of course, it depends on where the cycle is with this, but there could be a very hurtful situation where you felt betrayed or there was some ending um, to it that it's causing you some type of pain, some emotional pain, and you're feeling like I need to move on. Now, this could be for one particular person, but I feel like somebody is kind of, drew, they've drawn their line in the sand and it's like, I need to go ahead and let something go. Some of you with the cheating card, you got to be careful. Um, if you're out here, you know, willy dilly seeing other people, there may be something that comes to light. Um, because right on top of that, we have the page of blaze. Now, this could be news. You could be dealing with somebody who goes back and goes, well, you know what? I was with your, your, your woman last night. I was with your dude last night. And they were doing this and that. And you were like, the person is like, what? Yeah, I was with this person. This could be a message that comes in, a letter, a video, you know, an email, text message, whatever it is. It could be somebody sending something that causes some type of problem to you. For some of you, this could be in a relationship. For a few others, this could be in a job. You know, if you're doing something at work that you have people, supervisors or people that are watching you, be really careful that you're not, you know, doing it where you could be seen. I mean, I'm not going to try to tell you how to be shady, but for some of you, there may be some things where you're putting something out there at work, maybe taking a little money, taking some product home or doing something, but you have somebody that's trying to keep an eye on you. They're watching you. Some of you, it may be more than one person who's watching you because we got with the five of blades, we got somebody or some people that are trying to bring conflict into your life. Um, and some of you may not want to see this. Be careful of the people that you're connecting with. You may have some jealousy, some people that are envious of you or some people that are just trying to cause some problems. It looks like something came up. You're looking at the problem, but your eyes are closed. So on one card, we got that you're looking, you know something is fucked up. And then you know you need to deal with it with this two of blades. I need to make a decision. I need to do something. But I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to hope that it all falls into place. Well, I don't think it is. I do not think it is just because if you choose not to see it, let's move this card over here. Somebody else is looking. So you close your eyes to the problem. Say you're having bad issues in your relationship. You feel like I want to start seeing other people. I'm going to cheat or do a little something, something on the side. You know, they'll never find out about it. Well, yet it will. If you're cheating on a project, if you're cheating, um, you know, whatever it is, and you're thinking that it's not going to be seen, because we got you over here with your eyes closed, just because you're trying not to look at it, Libra, doesn't mean that these other people, because we got a magnifying glass over here. Somebody good, they're going through your phone, they're going through your computer, they're going through your stuff, they're looking. And it's going to cause some type of conflict. Because we got you over here pointing your finger, you know, in Libra style. Look out the window. Did you, was that a bird? Was that a plane? Was that Superman? And a person over here looking like, uh, that ain't going to work no more. That's not going to work anymore. Some of you, this could be doing, you could be doing this for some, someone that you're involved with. Maybe you caught them doing something. You found out something and they're trying to deflect whatever it is that charm that whatever that you see this person overlook it. They're not trying to overlook it. They actually got a magnifying glass. Now they're looking for more stuff. So I will say if you're dealing with somebody that you know has trust issues or you're doing something where it may cause trust issues, you might want to go ahead and get ahead of it because when this person shuts down or the situation shuts down, that's it. They don't want the, you know, the forgiveness or I don't want you to, I don't want you to talk to me anymore. Somebody's going to make it really hard. Even if you do reconcile the situation, someone is not making it easy for you to come back and fix this. now. I feel like for some of you, this could be a relationship. I wasn't intending for it to turn into a relationship reading, but it could be. For a few, it could be with a job because we got somebody that is juggling. Could be juggling people, could be juggling money. The thing about it is, is that we got money that's trickling in, but a lot of this energy may cause problems with your money. We got some judgment that's coming in. So some of you may be having some people that are gossiping about you, talking about you, um, could be job performance, 
could be that you put yourself out there and people are just, you know, envious. Maybe you are on social media. Maybe you have some type of um, presence and people are like, nah, did you hear about what so-and-so did at the job? Did you see that, 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 what, what do you call it? Um, oh Lord, I'm not in corporate America, but when you do something for a job and you present it, um, lay out presentation. Thank you, spirit. You may have some people like, did you see that presentation and you see how they are promoting themselves or they're putting themselves out there? You could have somebody that's dealing with you because you have some type of addiction that maybe they don't understand. For some of you, this could be drinking, partying too much, doing too much. You have somebody that's watching you, Libra. Some of you, you have someone that's watching you because they're interested, like a secret admirer. Um, they're hoping to start something new with you. But it looks like you got a lot of things that may be going on. Maybe you're working too much. Maybe you're a workaholic. Maybe you are in a relationship seeing multiple people. But I feel like your plate is full. I really do. So I will say that if you do have somebody that's watching you, they're looking at every little thing. This could be somebody who's going on your Facebook or your Instagram. Are they in a relationship? You know, what's their favorite color? You know, what did they post about today? Are they having drama on their post? Um, for some of you, you may have a group of people that are just trying to find you dirty. Like, let me look at them and see what's going on with them. Let me see what I can poke at. Let me see what I can bring to the forefront. Some of you definitely have some haters in the midst. They don't want to see you happy or they don't want to see you succeed. I feel like when I look at this queen of blades, she's ready to go to war. But it may, I don't feel like she's charging. That's more of a defensive stance to me. Like if you, if you come close to me, I'm going to cut you. I'm not fixing to just, you know, come out and cut you. But I'm letting you know that if you keep fucking with me, I'm going to cut you. I feel like somebody is saying, I, I, let's talk about it before we, before it gets worse. So some of you may even know this. Maybe you're dealing with someone that's trying to cause some problems in your life. And you're like, look, I know you found some things out. I know you're not, you're not happy about it. But if you come over here and you're fucking with me, I'm going to have to do what I got to do. A few of you may feel like your, your back is pushed in a corner this month, whether this is with a coworker or a um, spouse. The Six of Blades is showing at some point. I'm over it. I'm over it. I got to. I got to take this this baggage off. I got to. It's, it's causing disruption. It's causing distractions. It's causing me not to be the best that I'm trying to be. Could be causing you not to even pay attention to your business or your work because you're dealing with unnecessary drama or you're dealing with a situation that maybe needed to end in the first place. Somebody's taking their baggage off so that they can move around smoothly. The strength card is like I got to keep it moving. I feel, I feel wounded. I feel a little limited. My legs not working right. I don't feel like I can, I'm maneuvering the way I was, but I know I need to move forward and I'm going to be okay. So if you're going through something really hard and you feel like that you're not going to make it through, Libra, you will. You will. Some of you, I think this is just the end of a relationship that may have been very important to you. And it's painful that it's ending. Some of you, you come into the conclusion that it's ending because of something you did. Or either you found out somebody that you really cared about did something very dirty to you and you're like, I can't, I just can't. It broke you down, your heart hurt. And it could be have done to you because we got defense. She's holding, she's trying to, you know, don't do this again, don't come close to me, you know. You could even be dealing with a male or a female that's saying this or you're saying this to them. Just stop. Give me my space. Don't don't stop doing this to me. Could be some judgment behind it. I heard about what you did. I know what you did. I know what's going on with you. I don't want to be around you. Leave me alone. I definitely feel like for some of you, if you are practitioners, you could even be trying to do a little work. Let me, let me. Do a little alchemy. Let me do a little something to switch this thing around. Let me create a new beginning because we have the Hierophant on top of the Ace of Wands. New beginning. This could be somebody that's praying, you know, calling on their God, their goddess. You know, help me out. Help me with this situation. Help me move forward. 
Ace of Wands is showing something that's going to be opening up that you're starting new. If you come to the end of something where you had to move on, relocate, get another job, I feel like that you're manifesting this or you're calling on your ancestors or your spirits. Please help me. Give me another opening. Give me something that is fresh. And I feel like it's coming. We have the Ace of Wands and it's a clean slate. Some of you are starting over and you may be starting over reluctantly with something. You may be leaving one job to go to another job, clean slate. You may be leaving a relationship to start another relationship, clean slate. You're trying to manifest it with the nine of cups. Universe, bring me in something in that's going to make me happy. Bring me in something that's going to, you know, make me feel good. Bring me an opportunity in that's going to move me to that next level. You have this clean slate that's coming in. You got to figure out what you're going to do with it, though, Libra. Some of you, if you're leaving that baggage behind, don't go back and pick that shit back up. Let it stay where it's at. You know, don't go back and go, oh, you know, it feels this, this, it feels too easy now. It feels too good now. Let me go back and pick that drama up. Let me go back and put, pick that bullshit up. Let me go back and deal with that toxic person. Let me go back to that dead end job. Don't leave it, leave it behind in the backpack. They, they're going to send the bomb squad to come defuse it, make sure that it's, you know, nothing in there and then they'll take it away. You don't need it. You don't need it. The strength card is showing that you're ready to move on towards a clean slate if you were dealing with someone that was putting all this energy i would say i wish i could say it was somebody else but for some of us with all these air cards all this this conflict this is us this is us some of us are doing some self-imposed self-sabotage we're fucking some stuff up we have some good things but we're we're fucking it up But if you did, Libra, if you're the one that did it, be accountable for it. Deal with it. Heal it. Take the backpack off. Leave it behind. Start rolling towards this clean slate. Some of you, you may have made promises to the universe, to the ancestors. If you do this for me, then I'll do this for you. Whatever it is, I feel like it's alchemy. Whether you want to call it spell work, prayer, or whatever, I feel like some of you are moving something along because you need a fresh start. You need something that's going to open up. Let me look a little bit deeper into this because it seems heavy, and I'm an air sign. I'm trying to figure out who, what did I fuck up? Um, and is it going to get better? Let's see. We have the high priestess, and this is somebody that is using their spiritual connection, their intuition to navigate, to move forward. And with the full card, some of you are definitely starting something over. You're making some type of long-term plan, but it may require a journey. It may require you to go somewhere else. We got the death card. There's a major transformation that's going on. If you've been stuck, if you've been self-sabotaging, if you've been connecting with the wrong energies, if you out here dealing with addiction, some of you are tired. You're sick of it. It's costing you things. It's making you lose some things that maybe you don't want to lose some things. Some of you are going to be feeling some regret behind this. If you need therapy, go, go to therapy. The judgment card is showing maybe somebody that has addiction issues. If you feel like you have addiction issues and you need help with it, go to therapy. You got to stop self-sabotaging because it, it does show that there's some pain that's causing. It's been caused. Um, what is the thing? You, you're causing your own pain. If you didn't cause this pain, you let somebody in that may have. There's something where it got conflict. It got overwhelmed and you were like, I'm done. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. When I look at this card, this three of blades, this woman, she's crying. She's releasing. She's letting something go. And it comes after conflict. It comes after not wanting to look at things clearly. Open your eyes and deal with that problem. If you don't open your eyes and deal with it, it's not going to disappear. It's still going to be there. And some of you are going to be stuck in that energy for a little bit until that new beginning comes. 
because you, you you may have been crippled with something, a decision that you made. You know, I shouldn't have done this, or I shouldn't have went this way, or I shouldn't have, you know, maybe I, I didn't handle that the right way. It's not the end, you guys. You definitely, you got a transformation coming in. You got the fool card. You're taking a leap of faith. And High Priestess was with you. She's navigating. She's showing you things that you need to see. Maybe she's coming to you in your dreams. Maybe she's sending earth angels your way to help you navigate some things. Maybe some of you are getting people that are saying, look, there's a job opening. You That job you're in, you don't need to do it anymore. You're not happy. It's not working out for you. Come work for me. Or that relationship you're in is not working for you anymore. It's time to move on. Let's take this leap of faith. A few of you are walking away from some temporary energy for something that gives you more of a commitment. Long-term plans with it. You're scared at first. Anytime I see the full card, this is somebody, even though he's smiling, I, he, he's scared. He or she is scared. There's a new beginning that's coming in. And for some of you, it's taking you out of your comfort zone. It's taking you out of your city, out of your state. Some of y'all are living in dead in states where you know there's no jobs, there's no money. It's the same in, same out. The full card is saying, come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's do something different. The Ace of Wands is like, what do you want to do? Who do you want to be? What do you want to create? The Six of Blades is like, whatever it was, I don't want this anymore. I'm moving out of this chaotic energy and I'm moving into something that opens up doors and gives me some type of longevity. Gives me some type of stability. There's some healing I feel like that's going to be going on for some of you, whether this is mental, spiritually, or physical. I feel like there's some type of healing energy that's coming because whenever I see that six of blades and taking this backpack off, that's hard to do. It's hard to let go of energy that you become accustomed to, that you have to carry it with you. Some of us are like walking around here with our backs weighed down because we got shit. We got shit. A lot of you are taking this off. You don't want it anymore. And good for you. This looks beautiful to me. This clean slate. What do you want to be? I don't care if you're 50, 60, 70. It's never too late to start over. It's never too late to write a new story. It's never too late to make yourself happy. To be what you want to be. Take this other stuff off. Whether this is problems that you need, heal it, move on. If this is people that you're carrying, let them go. Move on. Ooh, Lord have mercy. I feel like I just went to therapy on myself. Damn it. Some of you, you may not even see this, this conflict coming. Like I said, if you're out there and you're doing some things, even if your eyes are closed and you don't want to see it, you might still have to deal with it. That ace of blades, look at that magnifying glass. You open your eyes, that problem going to be big as shit right in front of your face. Right in front of your face. And I don't think a lot of you going to be able to talk your way out of that. I think you're going to have to deal with it. So I say, if it was me at this stage, you might as well go on and put them hands down and open your eyes and deal with whatever's on that plate. That bill, whatever is past due, whatever needs to be rectified, whatever needs to be let go of, whatever needs to be fixed. You need to go ahead and open your eyes. If not, somebody else is going to see it and they might not handle it the way that you want them to handle it, especially with conflict coming in. All right, my air signs. This was heavy, you guys. It was heavy. I don't know about y'all, but it was something that I needed to hear because um, I got some things that I need to let go of, some baggage I need to take off. And the clean slate gives me hope. Let me get it in there. This gives me hope. That when I make the decision, I'm starting something over. And for me, it's good. I hope it's good for you too. I really do, Libras. I love you guys. 